Hey everyone, glad to have you with me. Sikituma here, back again with Pirate King Arain, the Bastard of Sunspear. And before we get to, uh, before we get started, guys, please do remember to like and subscribe. Your support really helps me to keep going. Uh, I am just about 150 or so subscribers away from becoming monetized. So if you guys want to help me out, the best way you can do that is by subscribing. But all right, well anyway, let's go ahead and we will uh, continue. Ah, oh, we still have a adult present here. I would love to revoke his title, but people aren't too keen on that, which is surprising since he is not a pirate. I thought that they would cut me some slack since he's the wrong government and wrong religion, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, okay, so for the last couple episodes, we've been kind of terrorizing Dorn and uh, Lise. Um, actually, we just, uh, we're still continuing our raid here on Starfall. And really meaning almost no resistance. So I think I'm going to keep that up to get as much money as possible. Um, up north, the situation is getting rapidly worse. Um, but I think actually it's about to turn around. So they have about 24,000 men. Oof, they get 23,000 events spawned. It's possible they'll get some more. Um, and they are already invading the north. But so the north has almost no men. So they're kind of effed. Uh, the Vale is staying out. I'm sorry, the, the Riverland is staying out, but the Vale, with Robert Aaron, is actually uh, sending men. They have about 10,000. Oh, he married a Wainwood. Very interesting. Uh, the uh, Timmond is sending men. He's about 9,000. And then the Big Coon of the Reach, he has enough to take them down himself. <clears throat> but... Uh, you know, we'll see logistically how that turns out. Um, hmm, very interesting. I would love to see the the White Walkers take over Westeros because I've never, I don't know what happens after that. I mean, do they have like boats? I don't think they do. No, yeah. So like, I don't really know what's going to happen if they succeed. I would love, absolutely love to see that. So I guess we'll have to wait on that. But okay, we're going to continue our raid. We actually picked up um, a Dane, Alma Dane. So this is Edric Dane's uh, daughter. And we'll see if we can uh, get a uh, little baby Dane in her or not. She actually looks pretty similar to me. I also finally had a son, Corliss, named after my famous ancestor. Uh, finally have an heir. He has four daughters, so we're going to have to keep him safe. Um, oh, and I could get him married, actually, but we'll hold that off for now. Although I could get him married to this Red Wave girl. Although he's not necessarily the best alliance. So, well, there we go. But okay. Um, and what's going on with the dragon situation here? Ooh, okay. So I guess the Stormlands, led by the Trance, has also decided to join in the War for the Dawn. Okay, good for them. You know, this might be a good time to hit up the Westerlands. I mean, he's got men at Mon Hill. Ooh, Theon. Which Theon is this? Is this Theon Theon? Like Theon from the show? Yeah, oh, this is just straight up Theon Greyjoy. Wow. Good for him. So he actually managed to become king as a eunuch. Yeah, this is the Feast for Crows starting point. So good for him. I wonder how he uh, managed that. Hmm, okay. Plus, this should make pirating a little bit easier. Oh, damn. He has 64,000 men, though. How is that possible? Just from the Crownland? Oh, look at that. Melina is mastering the art of sword. Wow, skilled fighter. Good for her. Oh, this is from uh, that guy's family. Okay, that's interesting. Well, I guess we could get her trained up to be a shield wench. Um, I'll put her under Obella, maybe. She can learn from a fellow uh, woman warrior. Oh, Ka Kaicho Trina has been a good servant. He's my high emissary. Well, I definitely don't want to give him any land. Um... Well, I should reward my underlings, especially as a pirate. The only thing that keeps us loyal to each other is money and the promises of glory. I might actually try to get my hands on one of these Westerland um, areas here. Or I could go mess with the Dornish again. 
I would love to get my hands on Mr. Lawrence and these silly Martells. Uh, let's see. Patience is a virtue, but Morel never loses her temper. Um, okay. Good. I can't abide recklessness, especially after I buried your father alive. I definitely don't want you to be reckless with me. Uh, this is the daughter of the, the man who double cucked me. <laughs> Uh, unhappy with the leadership. Ooh, there's been a little bit of a uh, mutiny. They're always. Um, I think this is like the third time they've done it at last ref at last refuge. Actually, okay. So we're about to take down. Uh, is that Starfall itself? No, it's Palestone. Okay, not the most formidable castle, but still got about a thousand men in there. Okay, so what's happening up here? Oh, look at that. Nymeri is with child. Good for her. 44 years old. Very impressive. So this is occupied by... Wait, hold on. Is there like another war going on here? Defending against Lord Great John's War of Tyranny. Oh my god, wow. So these guys in the middle of this existential crisis are saying... You're taking advantage of the situation to be, you know, authoritarian. That's interesting. And the White Walkers have taken Arendale. I wonder if I can raid these um, Winterlands, if I can, like, get my hands on, like, a like a White Walker concubine or something. That would be super funny. Are there, like, concubine, not concubine, are there, like, White Walker females? Is that a thing? Uh, I've never really liked it. What the hell is this guy doing here? <laughs> There's just some random human with them. What the fuck? <laughs> That's so bizarre. How did he end up there? Okay. Mr. Darren of the Reeds. He must be like Crest or some like useless, a uh, useful servant. Uh, excellent. Oh, look at that. We got our hands on Palestone again. Well, I guess I could take his daughter i don't know can i have five concubines can i have that many oh yeah look at that okay so i got mrs Inneralts. that's an interesting last name very cool very cool Ooh. okay once again i got people trying to kill me my spy master is reasonably happy with me i guess i could try to sway her into my direction uh, Shireen has been expressing an unusual interest in fighting. Okay, she's even practicing in the yard. Good for her, the little hunchback girl. She probably saw that, um, back, that back girl, whatever her name was, got inspired. Uh, okay. Honestly, I might have them leave. Um, Cyrano is missing a toy. Um, I get, I really don't care. I need, like, a court tutor. I don't want to be dealing with all these kids. Uh, let's give it to, yeah, we'll give it to Dantos. I just do not want to deal with them. And Illinois, yeah, you can be the, the king's justice, the pirate king's justice. What's going on in the arbor? Ooh, okay, we could try the arbor. There's probably some good money to be had here. I wonder if he sent his men up north. To do some fighting. Ah, we don't have anywhere near enough men to take that on. I didn't even think about that. Uh, ooh. Okay, well, we're leaving, Tommen, so relax. I want to go ahead and send my men back. Ooh, look at that. We got the chance to take on a merchant fleet. It's weird that we get the event for the Ironborn ships here. Very bizarre. Excellent. So there were no match, and we sank them. Took all their gold and glory. Okay, so we'll probably get some money once we land again. Not really sure exactly how much, but um, probably be a couple hundred. Yeah, eh, not that much, actually. Uh, the recent influx of gold has made some investment in Torturer's Deep. Oh, that's great. Okay, I'm going to go continue to F with these, uh, with, the, with the Martells. Because not only do I have their capital, but 
I have like three of them in my in my harem actually, and I think I still have one of them in my prison actually. Yeah, Daisy Martell. She's almost of age actually. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with her though. So once again, we get the chance to attack a ship. Got some more money. Okay. Tommen didn't really seem to care that we were raiding Dorne. I think they're still, like, independent. I don't really know what the hell's going on with them. Oh, no, no, no. Stay there. Uh, okay. So, okay, so they've taken, actually, more territory. Good for them. I don't know if they're going to continue to get more men. Oh, what the? I didn't know Viserion was available. Where the hell is this guy? Where are you at? He's not too far away, actually. Can I interest you in perhaps joining me? No. I was going to check the dragons, too, before I started this, but I forgot. Oh, good. This guy can be ransomed, and so can that guy. Okay. So we'll just keep Daisy. There is a wild dragon, Rhaegal, in Mantaris. I kind of wanted to do, to do a non-dragon playthrough. I feel like I'm stuttering lately. I don't know what's up with that. I feel like I wanted to do, to do, to do. I think that's what got me. Maybe I, I guess I could try it. I am of Valyrian descent. I don't know. I'm just a little worried that I'm going to die. Because <laughs> my son is not old enough to inherit this zero years old. Oh, okay, so my wife has found a way to make my brother-in-law chill. Okay. We could just ask politely. I mean, I think he's pretty happy with me. I don't think he's going to join any factions. Uh, in fact, actually, we have a problem with another Adam. Damn. He will not stand down. Okay, look at that. He did it this time. I know there must be a way to earn Pirate Queen Malario's trust, but how? I will simply ask her. Oh, look at that. Already got a more favorable opinion. Daisy says, so these peasants are all mine to command like little slaves? That's right, child. <laughs> that sounds like something he would say. No! Uh, damn it, another rider of Rhaegal. Oh, wow, okay. So she's opening up to me actually a lot. So I showed some interest in her, and now she's saying that she's happy to talk about her, her problems, her dreams, and she has questions for me too. Wow, that's amazing. That is amazing. That just goes to show how much uh, marriage is built on communication, you know? Uh, oh, I did not mean to click that. Yeah, show me dragons. So there's this other one, Astion, uh, who's being ridden by this guy. Can I get you to come to court if I send you some money? No, okay. Hmm. I would love to get my hand on Drogon's riders. He's in power now. Would be any easier to get rid of him? Oh, very interesting. Very dangerous that there are these dragon riders there in Volantis. Oh, look at that, Alice Valerion, another daughter of Nymeria Sand. Well, let's get her raised up in etiquette. And he's not married, not really sure why. And his father was a Shells. Very interesting. So that's Arianne's son. He's got a hair lip. Hmm. He's an interesting guy. I mean, he looks kind of funny, but like he's, you know, takes care of himself. He's a poet. He's a hard worker, he's patient, a little greedy, a little cynical. I guess he's grown up with a lot of shame around his house, mostly because of me. Uh, once again, yeah, we can ask politely. Oh, okay, so we're going to have a tiny little mutiny here. So I'll send my guys back in a little bit. What's going on with y'all? They, st I, don't, I don't think they've been defeated yet in battle. I'm very curious, where are, where are they? They're the new gift for some reason. Hmm. Wait, did the Reach pull out of that war? No, 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 they're still in. Uh, okay. Okay, good. And he has agreed. So my wife's actually 
doing a pretty good job. I gave her a little bit of power. We're talking. She's pretty happy. Uh, okay, so we're almost done with this. I hope I would love to take him. He's, oh, she had more than one kid. Interesting. Ooh, okay. So we got Elias Sand. We could take her. Or we could take this random girl, Alana. Ah, that's the father of the king's wife. Ooh, or even better, we can get an Aller. Oh, that's great. And she was a ruler, too. Wow, okay. Oh, my God. Excellent. Okay, so I have the entire royal family in prison. How many of them, exactly? So, yeah, he doesn't have any kids, but, like... Where exactly are they? Okay, so I don't have Milona. Um, and I don't have Simon. Wow, okay, that's pretty cool. You have to admit that. He doesn't have any money, so I can't really do anything to him. Um, I guess I could make him marry my daughter. That'd be interesting. That would be interesting. Honestly, maybe I will do that. Yeah, I could have him marry Sunel. Oh, look at that. Okay, so they are married. Cool. Okay. And then as for his brother, I guess I could also... I can't force marry him. Why not? Because he said, oh, he has cancer. I, I don't... I don't... I don't really get that, but okay. Uh, wait, it says because he's not an adult with a strong personality. Where is his strong personality? I don't really see that. He doesn't have a strong personality? Okay, well, look at that. My daughter is a queen, or she's going to be a queen. Very cool. And then his father, I can maybe... I mean, I guess I don't need to, like, do anything bad to them now that we're family. Oh, cool. And we also have Tain. I could take her as a concubine as well. I could have all the sand snakes. Although she is celibate. So that might be a bit of an issue, actually. Uh, Wow. Okay. So I really have my pick of Martell ladies. Well, he has a strong claim, so I might want to just get rid of him, honestly. For now, I think we can just keep them. I don't really need to do anything at all. Um, yeah, he won't form an alliance with me. Well, I guess I'll just keep him for now. Wow, look at that. We have the King of Dorne in our dungeon. And my daughter is going to be a queen. Very cool, very cool. That's crazy, dude. Okay, so I have Sunspear, I have his capital, and I literally have him in prison. <clears throat> I really don't know what to do with them. I mean, they don't have any money, so I, like, I can't like ransom them or anything. I guess I'll just keep them. Oh, look at that. Good, my uh, chief general is raising troops in Sunspear. That's good. Yeah, I'm probably due for some more men, yeah? Yeah, we're getting up there. Man, uh, House Martell has really had some struggles for the past couple of years. First, they lose their position on the Iron Throne. Now this, I don't think it could honestly be any worse for them that they're overrun by pirates. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and execute him. Let's tear his, bowel, his bowels out. All right, cool. So, um, maybe I could raise some more men and do some more raiding, to be honest. Uh, I don't really know where to take them. Part of me wants to kind of try my luck up north. Oh, it looks like they actually lost some men, so it's possible that they lost a battle. Okay. Uh, and he's actually leading men up here in Pine Send. Okay, so honestly, I think the White Walkers are kind of done for. I, I don't think they have enough men to take them down. Okay, cool. Well, honestly, I mean, I'm pretty happy with this outcome. Um, I don't really know what to do.
do? To be honest, what's the line of succession like? So Milona, I also already have. Uh, and I don't really have a boy to marry her to. I guess I could take her. Oh, wow. She's also a skilled fighter. Good for her. So she would be the heir after him, basically. I guess I, I mean, how many of them do I have? I have also, oh, Jordan. Okay. So this is where we start getting into kind of wild territory. So yeah, so House Jordan actually would have a pretty decent claim. Maybe I should take care of them. Okay, well, I'll have to look into that. I think I want to go ahead and call this episode for now, but I'm very happy with how things turned out in Dorne. I kind of want to help the White Walkers along. Maybe I could start raiding down here and draw some of their troops away from the from the main action. I don't know. Am I that evil? Possibly. I mean, it benefits me to have them keep fighting. So maybe I'll just do that. <laughs> but all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you in the next one.